All right, Kenny. So the one on the right you missed, the one on the left you get off the end. Um, so take you to foot coming down. Okay, so if you're in this position where that front arm is bent already, that's not the worst thing in the world. We Ideally, we want it to be straightened. So we want to feel those that hip create a stretch in that lead arm. But even if you weren't, it's not the end of the world. You can hit very well with a bent front arm. The whole point, though, is it continues to bend. That's what makes the barrel go away from the ball like you see. Look at your arm wanting to extend. So the reason why you're hitting everything off the end of the bat is for that front arm. Okay, so being in this position where the barrel is completely forward, you can do that if you stretch as you bring your hips through. So until you learn how to feel a little bit more stretch with that lead arm, a little bit more length in that lead arm, you'll continue to hit the ball off the end of the bat. <laughs> so hopefully that makes sense. I'd, I'd go ahead and watch some guys swing and see if you can see what I'm talking about. And it really doesn't matter who it is. Carlos Gonzalez, um, lots of Gonzalez's. What's the guy from? Adrian Gonzalez. Um, those are two guys you could look at. Those are both lefties. Watch Bryce Harper, um, David Ortiz. Pick any lefty that you want and look at how their lead arm works because everything else, dude, checks out. By the way, Craig, watch his back elbow because that's his, exactly what you want to look like. Notice his his hands never get behind his back elbow. So, don't get me wrong, Kenny. Lots of things are going. Lots of things are really good in your swing, and that's the inconsistencies come from that lead arm.